up, everybody? Welcome to Low Country Pre-Owned Vehicles here in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Let's take a look at this 2014 Audi Q7 S-Line Supercharged. Wow, what an amazing vehicle it surely is. We're going to walk around this Q7, take a look at the current condition of it, and be as transparent as possible. If we see any dents, stings, scratches, or imperfections on the exterior or interior, we'll point them out. We'll also take a look at some of the features, price, and mileage. So let's go ahead and get started. The Audi Q7. Man, it really is a gorgeous vehicle. It's Audi's full-size SUV. Quattro, meaning all-wheel drive. Very nice. I love the grille. I'm loving the LED lighting for your blinkers. Headlights look good. You know, Audi was one of the first manufacturers of cars to introduce the LED daytime running lights right there on the Audi R8 back in like 2010. So anyways, let's keep looking at this car, right? Fog lights look great. You got sensors in the front for parking. You have a beautiful set of wheels and they are definitely big and you can't go wrong with a set of five stars. They look great, don't they? Definitely, I uh, just washed the car off and already getting pollen on it pretty quickly, right? But anyways, let's take a look. I'm trying to find out what size rims we have. I'm guessing they're 20s, but to be exact, I want to get right on, I want to hit it right on the nail for you. And it's actually 21s. So a little bit bigger rim there. You got a 295-35 ZR series with a 21 inch alloy wheel and those are the P0 tires by Pirelli. So good looking rims and massive brakes back there. Those look like four piston calipers behind there. So you got some braking power going on. Now the color is unique to this vehicle, something different. You don't see a lot of cars in this color. And that's another thing what I like about it is it's, it's unique, it stands out in the crowd. LED lighting on your mirrors, there you go. Also getting a panoramic glass sunroof that stretches all the way back to the second row seats right there. How many miles, right? 42,000 miles, also has the prestige package on it. So this Q7 is well equipped, pretty much fully loaded. Wow. It is a gas, so it's not a diesel. 3.0 T Quattro, as we said earlier. Nice little stance, right? It really does look good. Tires got plenty of tread in the front and in the back, and it sits up nice and high off the ground, and just a beautiful look about it, wow. Tail lights also LED, as you can see with the blinking. No fading in or fading out, just boom, boom, boom. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and check out this. I'm pretty sure, yep, we got a power tailgate feature, LED lighting for your tag light. Third row seats come standard in the Q7, as you can see. And you can fold these seats down and make it nice and flat. Also a little, uh, little fun fact here, steel plating in the back of the seats. So it's solid, folks. If you get rear-ended, Audi's gonna make sure you're nice and safe in this vehicle. Again, steel plating behind every seat in the car. How do I know that? Well, I used to work for Audi for about seven or eight years, selling cars. Plenty of storage space, power outlet, very nice. So anyways, we're gonna hit the button right there and drop that right on back down. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior and see what amenities we're getting on the inside. I know it's a lot, but let's have a look at this too. So again, exact mileage is 43,000. 823 according to the window sticker. Mangello blue pearl effect. And you're getting the ebony black leather interior. Memory seats, power windows, power door locks, all that good stuff. Bose premium stereo system. S-line package. Power seat, lumbar. And then really good looking leather seats in here. Perforate with the holes in, lets them breathe and stay cooler. Leather's wrapped up onto the steering wheel. You got paddle shifters in here for sportier driving. There's the horn. Sounds good. Lots of LCD screens, one there. You got your gauges. Another LCD here. The key goes in there. Dual climate control, CD player. And uh, it might even have some SD card slots. Sure it does. One, two, and then a SIM card slot there for navigation. To run up here. Backup camera does come equipped with this vehicle. Looking good. Start stop engine button, leather boot, very nice. Armrest looks great. Cup holder here. This does open up. Storage there and then more storage here. So lots of storage spots. Let's take a look in the back. There's a the pano roof for those beautiful Carolina skies here in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. 
Are you excited about this as much as I am right now? I'm probably guessing you are. And with that being said, you may be, uh, with said, you may be interested in price, and I'm gonna tell you that in just a minute. Here's the back seats, look great. You know, one thing, a lot of different configurations with these seats, you can fold down the middle, you can slide these forward so you can slip into the back, and you can fold them down completely flat on both sides to have a ton of storage space. And if you got kids or a baby seat in the car, that's a great feature to kind of keep the sun out just a little bit more. Oh, look at here. This goes back in there. Okay, two 12 volt outlets, dual climate control in the back. Mm, what a beautiful car. It really is. And a very open feel about it when sitting in here on the inside. All right, there is your Audi Q7 for 2014. If you are interested in buying this car, the price today in the middle of March 2018 is $33,900. Again, $33,900 is the price or best offer. I promise you folks, if you're interested in buying this vehicle, come out here, take a test drive with Brandon inside, and if he works it all out to where you like it, folks, we'll make sure you leave here with a smile with a car today. Come on down and see us. If you need help with financing, whether you have good credit, bad credit, or just no credit, don't worry about it, folks. We have plenty of financial institutions to help you get your loan approved. So have a great day. Visit us right here in Mount Pleasant. We are just across the street from Low Country Volkswagen, about a mile and a half, right down off the Arthur Ravenel Bridge. Visit us online at lowcountrypreowned.com. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think about this Audi Q7 and if you've driven one before. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you soon.